click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. We are with the 13th chapter of microwave engineering where the various parameters with respect to the microwave are to be measured here. We started to address the low frequency measurement and the high frequency measurements in this chapter. And with this knowledge, we have proceeded forward to have introduction to the various components useful in microwave measurements and the practical setup. So there it was the slotted line having a movable detector mount that can have the measurements with respect to the energy levels at any location or throughout the length of the rectangular waveguide. Next to that, there it was a tunable detector that can work along with the slotted line. Recently, we have addressed the VSWR measurement for the low values less than 10 and for the values those are greater than 10 with the help of double minima method here. Now, in this video, let us get how introduction to the VSWR meter, the device here. So here we start with our topic introduction to VSWR meter. So VSWR we have made it very clear into the previous video that it stands for the voltage standing wave ratio and it can be calculated for the less than 10 value with the help of the block diagram we have shown and the, for the greater than 10 value the double minimum method discussed into the previous lecture here. Now basically when we have a waveguide here, so for practical case inside the waveguide we have such insertion slot and through this insertion slot we have the detector mount or the tunable detector sensor to measure the levels of voltages here. Now while the sensor measures certain voltage level, so whatever the output of that particular signal is there, it is further amplified, calibrated and provided as input to the VSWR meter here. So now the VSWR meter further makes the use of a high gain, the gain value should be high, the quality factor value should also be high here. So high Q is there, the Q is and find also you can refer it to have. It should be of the low noise type also. So such the amplifier is working with a fixed frequency. For example, the frequency of lower order 1 kilohertz. So this is with respect to the signal output that has been obtained from the detector mount here, the detector tunable detector you can see here. So whatever the microwave signal is there for the meters, the microwave frequency range has been modulated by such a low frequency value, for example, 1 kilohertz it is. Now let us visualize how the markings of the VSWR can be there onto the VSWR meter there. So this is the schematic diagram. In this schematic diagram, we have such a scale here for the analog type here. And this is the pointer. This is the pointer pointing to the various values. So here we have the two scales. The two scales, the first one onto the upper hand side, this is called as the voltage scale. So it is standing from zero to 10 millivolts here. Whereas VSWR scale, the important one, is represented onto the bottom side here. So you can see here the values of VSWR at the right hand extreme, the lowest possible value is 1 here. We have 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 and so on. So this will be 20 also and so on we can go for here. Now how first of all the voltage is related to that of the VSWR scale that we shall see here. Now in this schematic diagram if this is the depth of the rectangular waveguide this is the three dimensional view I have considered. So the top wall that is having the insertion and in the bottom cavity we can be having 
the measurement with the help of the tunable detector so when the tunable detector is coming across the full scale deflection so for example the full scale deflection when it is observed so that time the vswr obtains to the value of unity vswr is equal to 1 so the measurement of the voltage made for that particular time let us say for example we have 10 millivolts that is the representation the maximum value onto the vswr meter here now arbitrarily when we have the measurements with respect to the minimas at different locations here so that time for example if it is of 5 millivolts we have to take the ratio of vswr is equal to 10 millivolts divided by 5 millivolts so the vswr will be equal to 2 here when we come to read the value of the voltage level to be for example 3.33 volts here so that time millivolts here so that time we take vswr is equal to 10 divided by 3.33 so this gives us the vswr is equal to value 3 here if we have the measurement obtained with the help of the tunable detector it is equal to 2.5 millivolts the vswr will of course be of value 4 here so this way into the earlier schematic diagram the maximum value of the voltage scale that has been shown 10 millivolts will be related to the measurements of the vswr scale so basically onto the vswr meter both the types of the scales are provided so you can directly have the measurement of vswr calculated there in the earlier schematic only the scales were represented here this is the actual device you can visualize into the three dimension here so this is the mention of the scale and the various knobs are present to operate the vswr meter at the different modes and the requirements there so i hope the introduction to the vswr meter and the vswr measurement techniques are concluded here by the next lecture we shall continue the topic to practice for the vswr measurements so it will be problem number one for vswr measurement so i hope you are definitely getting benefited for the microwave engineering knowledge for more such details if you want to have you can subscribe to ekida channel thank you